before we begin, if you want to see music bios or more good videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, on to our feature presentation. So the 2023 BET Awards took place and this year's host was Hit It Keith Sweat. Nobody, baby. I guess BET took the VMA approach and let the show run itself. Could the writer strike have something to do with this? I have to say no because BET got their own writers. At least that's what I think. Anyway, this year's theme is 50 years of hip hop. After watching the Grammys killed it with their tribute, BET knew it had to be bigger. Uzi Vert starts the show performing Just Wanna Rock for the umpteenth time. Uzi got a lot of pride for showing up for a show he didn't get nominated for. At least he didn't make a diss song like someone we know. Yeah, BT. BT. After this, unofficial host DJ Kid Capri introduced the Sugar Hill Game performing the first hip hop record to cross over to the mainstream. Followed by PA announcer and another unofficial host MC Light, the female rapper I respect the most performing Cha Cha Cha. Then came D-Nice and Big Daddy Kane and Kane pays tribute to Biz Marquis. The all-female best new artist category was the first award given out and it was awarded to Coco Jones. Wait, what? In a theme of hip hop, I would think they would give it to Glorilla or Ice Spice. I honestly did not see this one coming. Rimi out the plastic I've been acting brand new is now on the stage and I could tell she was a last minute ad. I would say her performance this year was better than last year's performance. Kid Capri then brings in Warren G performing Regulate and Suge Knight isn't there to jump him. Then Yo-Yo tells us that even 30 years later, you can't play with her Yo-Yo. Then comes Tyga and the only rapper that could rap in cursive in E-40. After the second round of hip hop tributes, MC Light introduces the best new artist winner to perform ICU. Don't have much to say, but her vocals are serving. Then comes the Brooklyn midget known as Lola Brooke, who comes out to perform Don't Play With It with the choreo being done by Tiana Taylor. And thanks to Tiana Taylor, Lola got this performer thing down packed. Offset and Quavo then pays tribute to the Fallen Takeoff. My thoughts over this were all over the place. Weren't they beefing or is just unhealed grief? I hope it was just unhealed grief. Then they performed the song he got left off of. You think I'm left off bad and bougie? Say again? You say I'm left off bad and bougie? But in the end, I'm glad Quavo and Offset will set aside their differences for one night because Takeoff will want this. Rest in peace, Takeoff. The cast of Sisters then presents Best Female Hip Hop to Lotto. Really? Kid Capri then brings the 305 to the stage with Trick Daddy, Trina, and Coach Uncle Luke. After this, he brings Chief Keith performing Finito, the Ying Yang Twins not performing Get Low, one of the best crunk songs of all time, but instead the Whisper song. Then Dolce performs Booty Drop and her first charting single, Black Boy, at least Kodak isn't there with a surprise appearance from Trillville as they come on stage to interlope the song. And if you made it to this point of the video, a lot has gone down. Kid Capri then sets up for the Southern Movement with Young Jeezy, T.I., Percy Miller, No Limit needed their own segment. But before this, Capri did pay tribute to Young Dolph and Shawty Lowe. More Kid Capri magic as he pays tribute to Guru from Gangstar, but this segment features Keith Murray and Redman. The BET Her Award was given to Break My Soul by Beyonce, and of course she's not here due to tour obligations, but I'll say it again. BET blew a major opportunity by not nominating ICU by Coco Jones and Snooze by SZA. But at least I got this one prediction right. The greatest beatboxer of all time then hits the stage to do a tribute to reggae, as it's very important to the hip-hop culture. Then Kid Capri introduces us to Glorilla, on God, performing liquor Sum, Gross. After this, Bad Skills lyrically spits about the history of hip hop. Big Tigger then presents the Viewer's Choice Awards to Break My Soul and the crowd reacted kind of weird to this one. And notice how the Viewer's Choice Award returned when Beyonce dropped, just saying. Also, the young Patti LaBelle then leads a tribute to Anime Bullock and she wasn't prepared looking for the words in her background singers. Also, we got robbed of a Bobby Caldwell tribute. He's just as black as he is white. Kid Capri pays tribute to the Christopher Wallace and Rios as he brings out Bat Joe and Remy Ma, Fabulous, Styles P, Ja Root, and Curtis is somewhere player hating. Then comes the Bronx native Ice Spice performing her breakout hit Munch, Princess Diana, and In Her Mood. Money Alone then presents Callie performing Area Codes, which she doesn't do a bad job, but it's clear that she still got work to do. Marlon Wayans and Swizz Beats leads a tribute to Busta Rhymes, who is this year's honoree for the Lifetime Achievement Award. He of course performs to let us know that 
he gotta taste it, he gotta grab it, he cut through all this traffic just to be on top of the throne and he know he already has it. And I found out that Spliff Star is the name of Buster Rhymes hype man. Also in the midst of this, Coyle Ray performs Players, the Buster Rhymes version and I caught a reference to her performance as she also paid tribute to TLC. And oh yeah, Bia is lip syncing. Best international act winner was Burner Boy and the funny Murasaka accepted on his behalf. Kid Capri then leads us to the dance element of the show with Dougie Fresh doing the original Dougie, break dancing, kid and play, King Combs, 69 Boys, nice, the white t-shirt rappers, Soldier Boy, DJ Unk, GS Boys, and the Swag Swerf dude. This award show was all over the place, not counting the pre-show, only 6 awards were handed out and only 2 winners accepted in person, 3 if you count Tiana Taylor's video call. This award show quickly turned into a hip hop tribute. I also feel like BET tried to outdo the Grammys hip hop tribute. Also, also I feel like the show's demographic completely shifted to black women because none of the male winners were announced except for Burner Boy. And there wasn't any gospel moments on the show. Anyway, the best performance of the night easily goes to Offset and Quavo's tribute to Takeoff. Nice seeing two black men squash their beef for now. And my audible mention performance goes to Lola Brooke's performance. Tiana Taylor really helped improve her stage performance. Worst performances is Lil Uzi vs performance as he should have never started off the show in the first place. And this honorable mention, I hate to do this, but Patti LaBelle's tribute to Tina Turner is going to get that because I was highly disappointed. And that included the 2023 BET Awards. And as Hugo Henderson would say, it was a hot mess. Tell me what y'all think in the comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.